Fortinet stock is trading at 68.31 and is up around 18% this year, and shares have been largely trading sideways since mid-2021 after seeing explosive growth in 2020. Analysts are putting their one-year price targets at 74.90 on average, which is about a 9% upside. I'm calculating an EPS of 1.37 and a PE ratio of 49.9, and from what I can find, analysts are projecting an EPS of 179 for the year-end December 2026, and if we multiply their current PE ratio by that 2026 EPS, then we would expect to see a stock price of 89.25, which represents a 31% upside. Their valuation is pretty close to the technology average of 45.4, so I don't see much of a reason to do any adjustments. Their debt to equity is actually negative, and normally this would be a concern if it were caused by increased debt or incurred losses, but in Fortinet's case, it's actually the result of a good metric, their aggressive share buybacks. And another good sign is that they have beat all four of their last quarterly earnings reports by an average of 15.1%, a massive margin. That's really good to see. And I'm not seeing any major red flags worth noting aside from, you know, possibly a high valuation. But like I said, it's in line with the industry as a whole. And so even though the industry is a little inflated at the moment, it's not going to be as risky or as volatile as some of the other major technology players. Overall, I think their underlying fundamentals are solid and their income growth estimates are still trending in the positive, and while I don't think investors should expect to see any triple-digit returns on Fortinet stock like they have in the past, I think investors willing to hold over the long term would likely see some gains down the line.